here we are in the real life kitchen with our best friend Arlene. She's going to show us how to make some awesome appetizers. Well, in case uh, during the holidays mm -hmm. you're going to have some guests in, people are kind of getting away from sitting down and having big food late in the evening mm -hmm. or even on weekends. So it's kind of nice because this you can put out as needed, brought in. You don't have to put everything out at one time. That's the key. Mm -hmm. You don't want to put everything out and then you have guests coming a little later and then everything's kind of look, you know, been picked over. No, so you put about three or four, you reserve a couple, and then every 45 minutes to an hour, you bring another one out as your guests keep coming. That way it keeps it, and then if something looks really bad, take it off, because okay. who wants to, you know, right. that doesn't look good. But these are all simple and easy, and we thought we would show you how to do some, and then show, show some at the end of the program, we have our taste awesome. test. You're going to be making, this is my niece's, it's called uh, Lisa's Black Bean Salsa. And every time she makes it, everybody goes crazy. And honest, all it is is assembling because you don't cook a thing. So we have black beans, mm -hmm. and we have washed them, drained and washed them. Okay. And that's in those two cans. You can just go ahead and drop those into, Rotel. yeah. Okay. And we have two cans of uh, Rotel. And this is the diced tomatoes with, um, let's see, which one did I get here? With green, green chilies. chilies. Yeah, two Ooh. of those. And then there's corn, frozen corn, 16 ounce bag of frozen corn. Let it come to room temperature. So you want to, that doesn't need, you know, you want it not, not to be wet or, or thawing. And then we have some cilantro, green peppers, red onion, and fresh squeezed lime juice. That's the topper. That's the kicker. And really, as I said, it's just to assemble. You might want to use the, the bigger that's one. a deep bowl there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And nothing like fresh cilantro also, that's, that's just that good flavor. But that's all good for you. Oh, it smells good. And you good serve too. that with tortilla chips. This is one of my family's favorite things. Yeah, and it's that's like so easy. Now, yeah. we want to put a chill on that too, Amanda. After that's done, it needs to, you could eat it just like that, but if it gets chilled, those flavors all mix together. And that mm -hmm. lime juice adds a perk that's like, oh my goodness. It's wonderful. And... Yeah, that's it. And this is no, healthy. Yeah, no salt, no pepper, healthy. no spices, no nothing. But I'll tell you, young people love that. Yes. Nephews. My nieces and nephews, the summertime, Lisa would make it, they have a pool. And we'd be sitting around the pool, and all these kids are just coming in. That's what they were eating. And I was yeah. like, I was good, glad to see mm -hmm. that they like black beans and stuff like that, because sometimes you don't. Oh, the smell but anyway, is wonderful. While you're doing that, I'm going to make, I'm going to make a buffalo chicken hot buffalo oh, chicken dip. dip, yeah. Now this is just cream cheese that I have put into the bottom of, now I'm using a deep dish pie shell, because, or pie plate, because I don't want it cooking all over the place, because this goes in the microwave. Do you believe that? Spread that, get it soft, and then you just pour it in there. And what I have here is, this is that wonderful, if you can use a rotisserie chicken, that would be good. If not, this is just two cans of um, that white breast meat of chicken. I think it's called chicken of the sea. I'm not sure. But anyway, and it's drained well and flaked really well. We're going to add, this is <clears throat> Frank's red hot sauce. So anybody that doesn't like red hot, you want to <laughs> stay away from this because there's a lot in there. And we're going to mix that together. Let me mix this up. Okay. And that's just... Now, I know one of the guys upstairs, one of our techs upstairs, he's drooling already because his name's Larry mm. and his middle name is Red Hot Sauce, okay? <laughs> he loves it on everything. <laughs> this looks beautiful, Isn't too. that pretty, so pretty huh? Yes. Okay, just pop that in the fridge. And then when we bring that out, we're going to serve that again with tortilla chips, which will be nice. So, right, and all I'm going to do with this chicken is top this right on top of... The cream cheese just like that so simple so easy now do you have special things that you do like on Christmas Eve do you do you have special meals what what's your because I know Italian people do like the the seven fishes and and yeah. um, you know every country kind of has its own customs do you do anything special with your family we do a lot of visiting so my aunt will do one day they've had to pick different days so that way we as family can get together with extended family and they will do a big ham 
turkey. She does all now, the Now, is this my, on Christmas aunt, Day? No, we will do oh. this on another day. I think wow. this year it's a Saturday before. Okay. But she'll do like a big pasta dish, either macaroni and cheese and rigatoni. So it's like all the family comes together and brings their own that's things. That's nice. That's and nice. And plenty of desserts. We all like sweet things. Well, so. yeah, because you know what? That's the time of the year. And everybody's watching their and their their but diets and all that. But you have to. made its way into all of us younger kids. We bring these <laughs> well, you know, sides, you know. Yeah, and this is better than maybe eating the chicken wings with the with the greasy skin mm. and stuff. This yes. is a different oh, this alternative. Is delicious. But this, that, what in case you're wondering, that was blue cheese crumbles. I just put on the top mm. of that about a half a cup. And this is just green onions that I've we've just cut really, really fine. Now this goes in only for two minutes into the microwave, mm -hmm. and we're going to serve this with crackers. You could do it with chunks of celery or radishes or any kind of vegetable that you want. But we figured that um, we would use a cracker with that. So we're going to pop that into uh, the microwave. Why don't you set that in there for We don't have to okay. turn that on. I wanted to talk a little right. bit about something else I'm cooking over here. Now, actually, there's nothing to, really anything to show you with this except a finished product. You take one bag of 75 count frozen, not Italian meatballs. You can get them everywhere. You take one can of cranberry sauce and one bottle of chili sauce. It's, in, it's right next to where they have the ketchup, mm -hmm. but it's cooked a little different. It's got a little flavor. You put that in your crock pot, cook for three hours. You have the best. You smell that? Smell Barbecued meatballs. Oh. And what we're going to do is put those in a nice, a nice dish, and we're going to put some toothpicks. Now, this is versatile enough. If you wanted to make a sandwich, you could put them on. I'd put these on hot dog buns. Yeah. And just some cheese on top, maybe, mm -hmm. if the kids would like that. Or you could boil rice. This could be part of dinner. Put some vegetables with it. These are so versatile, and they're so easy. And you get a lot. And it's really. more sweet. Yeah, they're, they're sweet, but a barbecue sauce is sweet. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's just one of those. We've got a couple more we're going to show you when we have our taste test, and I, I don't want you to miss that. But I do want to tell you that if you would like these recipes, you can go to ctvn.org. They're always there. And um, I would like to really wish you a really, really Merry Christmas, oh, you and your family. Thank you. I know what I'll be making right from your cookbook. <laughs> It gives me all the directions. Well, there you go. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and, you know, we're always so thankful for our family out there, That's you. Right. Mm -hmm. We appreciate mm -hmm. you so much. You've been with us all these years, and, you know, every year we say, Merry Christmas, we love you, and we really do. That's right. You know, you make all this possible. You give us the avenue to tell the world that Jesus Christ was born in, in a manger. You know, you talk about a king-size bed. A manger is a king-size bed. That's right. Amen. Because that's where he was born. Thank let's you, celebrate. Let's don't worry about gifts and cooking. This is all part of it. But let's keep the focus really on the one who deserves it, and that's our Lord Jesus Christ. We're going to be back in just a minute, right? That's right. We're going to have a taste test. You don't yeah. want to miss it. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Well, we're back in the, the kitchen. This is the favorite time of ta mm -hmm. tasting. Arlene, everything looks really... It does. I think we need a camera to shoot that Christmas tree yes. so they can yeah. see it. Yeah, it's just so there, cheese and, see, and veggies and fruit. Yeah, you see how it's in the, in the shape of a Christmas tree? See, there's the cinnamon. See the cinnamon creative? sticks at the bottom, oh, yeah. You little creative thing. Oh, well, you know, it's yeah. Christmas. It's well, so ladies, we got a minute to taste. What are you going to taste? I don't know. There's plates down there if you want to pass the plate. Okay. Now, this no is... No double dipping. Stuff, no. No this double is stuffed dipping. mushrooms. Those are stuffed mushrooms. That's stovetop <laughs> stuffing. We've docked it up a little bit. And you put um, cheese on top of them. Oh, wow. And then, okay. and then uh, you just bake them off for 20 minutes. Very easy. This cool. is our, this is our, um, here, let me show you this. This is our dip. That's buffalo. Buffalo you, dip. You want is, some of that? Is that spicy? It's a little bit hot. <laughs> a little I'll bit? Give, I'll give you a little one of those. Okay, <laughs> I, I will need that. And I'm, how about a meatball? Mm -hmm. Don't oh. could you eat a meatball? I'm going to in just a minute. Okay. Okay, I'm going to try when this. And I don't have to talk. Okay. This is wonderful. Mm. Is it good? Yeah, oh, you yeah. like that's the salsa. Mm -hmm. Cuz that's just good. yeah, that's mm -hmm. real good. Mm -hmm. Fresh lime juice. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's that, But you know that, what's you know what I like oh, the most? I'm going to try that too. Is when people come together like we talked about earlier 
and just enjoy the bounty that God's blessed us with. Mm. But you know what? Foremost, we've got to keep that realization. It's all about Christ. Mm -hmm. it is. Right. We can it is. never, never push that away or never. That's why every Christmas have a, a birthday cake for your kids to see. Because we've got to tell them about whose birthday it is. If we don't tell them, who's going to tell them? That's the right. world isn't. That's right. That's right. You know, it's all about give, give me, give me, give me my favorite this or that. So. Mm -hmm. Terry usually makes a happy birthday Jesus cake. Mm -hmm. That's absolutely. It's hard to get the candles on it, though, mm -hmm. and blow them out. That's, uh, mm -hmm. that's a big job to blow I'm those sure. candles out. <laughs> and to say happy birthday to Jesus. Yeah. Well, we're going to come back and pray with, with your prayer request. Mm -hmm. But before, before we do that, and we're going to see what's on tomorrow's, tomorrow's real. real.